In this lesson, I will briefly introduce Markov chains. Originally invented by the Russian mathematician Andrei Markov around 100 years ago, Markov chains have been widely used to model the behavior of various systems. To start with, let us begin by defining what are Markov chains. A Markov chain can be described simply as a random variable that evolves with respect to time. This evolution, it can evolve with respect to something other than time, but mostly what is considered in literature as time. Let's start by taking an example. Let's consider a random variable xn, and let's think of this random variable xn as the state of a certain system at time n. A Markov chain is said to be discrete time if n in the random variable xn is a non-negative integer. So in this case, we'll have an evolution of x0, x1, x2, so on and so forth, where n takes integer values as we can see. A Markov chain is also said to be discrete space when the random variable x can take discrete values. For example, x can take values, integer values, from 1 till n. In this lesson, we will only look at the discrete space, discrete time Markov chains. So given the system that we looked at, which can exist at various states at different times, an interesting question would be to determine the probability that the system will exist in some state j, given all the past states that the system has already existed in. So practically, we are looking at the following probability. Let's assume that the current time now is time n. So the probability we're looking at is the following. The probability that xn plus 1, which is the future state or the next state, being equal to some state j, given all the past events, that is xn equal to i, xn minus 1, let's say equal to i minus 1, so on and so forth, till x0 equal to i0. The Markov property says the following. The past events and the future events are conditionally independent given the current or the present. As a result, this Markov property will translate to the following. The probability that we have seen earlier will be reduced to xn plus 1, equal to j given only the present event which is x n equal to i. This would be equal to p i j which we denote as the transition probability that is the probability with which our system transitions from state i to state j. The Markov chain is called homogeneous whenever this transition probability does not depend on time meaning that p i j is constant or independent of n. To better illustrate this we will look now at the graphical representation of a Markov chain. Let's consider a simple system which can exist in only two states and we'll use circles to represent these states. For example, we'll have state 1 and state 2. Now, to represent the transition probabilities between these states, it's enough to do that using arrows. For example, given that I'm in state 1, I will remain in state 1, let's say with probability 1 over 3, and I will shift or my system will transition to state 2 with probability 2 over 3. And let's assume that this system, whenever it exists in state 2, it will always shift to state 1, that is, with probability 1. This representation can be mapped to something known as the transition matrix Q. The way to map it is the following. Construct a square matrix such that time t plus 1 and time t, and here we have the states 1, 2, and states 1, 2. And now, filling in this matrix would correspond to the following. The probability to shift from state 1 at time t to state 1 at time t plus 1 is 1 over 3. From state 1 to state 2 is 2 over 3. From state 2 to state 1 is 1. And from state 2 remaining inside state 2 is 0. So as we can notice from this matrix, the sum of the row components is always equal to 1. So now if we need to represent or we need to construct a valid matrix, a valid Markov matrix, in fact, we can only think or it's sufficient to think of a square matrix whose elements are non-negative integers such that the row elements always add up to 1. So that concludes a small introduction of Markov chains. In the next lesson, we'll learn about different characteristics or different terms that characterize the behavior of Markov chains.